Daniel, we let you after the TT uh, full of emotion. How yeah. has been the week since for you? Uh, still quite, you know, up and down with challenges, but yeah, try to overcome them as usual and focus as much as possible today. So we go in fighting and uh, racing with a lot of heart and a lot of strength and, you know, a lot of uh, Caribbean spirit and pride. We, we don't really know what, what you have to go through. Can you give us a bit of a glimpse of what are the challenges you encounter? Uh, I can't say too much because I don't also want a lot of problems because I know that video went quite viral and stirred up a lot of things. Um, but yeah, in, in summary, I'd say like, you know, a lot of things were last minute, meaning like Monday night, 3 a.m., booking hotels, looking for flights, um, trying to get equipment from the team because, you know, they need to know our logistics in advance. So I had basically to fly from Barcelona to Milan, then go to service course with a camper to pick up all the luggage and drive to Zurich. And then I made a mistake with the booking through, and I ended up halfway up a bloody mountain. So we're literally staying halfway up a mountain. And yeah, there were a lot more things that weren't considered because, you know, if you book everything in last minute, you're like you're trying to cut back on expenses because everything now is a lot of inflation. And with doing that, we run into more problems. And yeah, my mechanic, he comes from Trinidad. So he also, it was also last minute for him. So he's on the jet lag. He has to drive and yeah, it's just been crazy and it's been it's been a lot. But yeah, we cried. We we had some not uh, like fights as well between both of us because you know out of frustration. But I think the positive thing with with uh, me and Kevin is that you know he been through thick and thin with me, so he un also understands my emotion and I also understand him as well. So, you know, we always come back on the same page. So that's the beautiful thing about all the chaos. It's like we know and understand each other. And uh, yeah, my only, you know, I really love my country. Uh, all of this is really not just for me, it's for the generation coming up because yeah, I know it's, it's not about myself. Like, I know, yeah, winning is important and showing yourself is important, but I think the most important is always creating a path for the future generation and breaking down the prior so they don't have to go through the struggles that I went through and that I face and the challenges that I face. Like, I mean, that's also part of development, right? You know, trying to create a smooth pathway for everyone else to follow. So. Yeah, it's why I keep getting emotional because yeah, I really love my country, but yeah, sometimes it's too much what I go through for the love of my country, but yeah. Thank you, Daniel. We wish you to enjoy the rest. Thank you. Hey, Daniel, sorry.